physical education class at 7 in the morning here in Tieneke Bugu, a village that's a two-hour drive north of Mali's capital, Bamako. Solomon Troiré, known to his friends as Solo, attends what's called a speed school. He's completing an elementary school education. It will take him just nine months to catch up on three years of normal school. Lessons incorporate elements of play, but discipline is also important. Ten-year-old Solo is one of 25 children in the village who go to this school. He's ambitious and a hard worker. I know the alphabet. And I can count. I can do A, E, A, O. The first two months aren't easy. When the children first arrive, they can't write. They don't even know how to hold a pen. If it weren't for the speed school, Solo wouldn't get any education at all. Like many children here in Mali, he didn't have an opportunity to attend school when he was younger. Solo isn't just learning to read and write. His confidence is also growing. Plus, he's learning to be punctual and reliable. When school's finished for the day, I help out on the farm. I give the animals water every evening and take them back to their stalls. I can only study when that's all done. Staff from a local NGO visit families in the region, encouraging parents to send their children to school. Solo's parents realized it made sense. He didn't know the alphabet. He was difficult at home and uncooperative. Now he helps out with our animals. Solo's mother prepares a candle, so when night falls, Solo can do his homework. One day, he might follow in the footsteps of Fuseni Diara. Now 22, he's a student at the university in Bamako. Fuseni Diara is the only one in his year to have received education at a speed school. I'm studying education. Lots of young people would like to go to university, but there's a shortage of qualified teachers and lecturers in Mali. I'd like to become a teacher and be a role model for young people. The Speed Schools project has been launched in a number of African countries, allowing some 10,000 young people, like Fuseni Diara, to get an elementary school education and prepare them for secondary schools. In his free time, Fuseni Diara now volunteers at village schools. Today he's visiting Solo's class. He hopes he can motivate and inspire them. He also came from a small village, so he understands the challenges they face. It's unbelievable to be here. It reminds me of the years I spent studying in a hut like this, looking at my teacher at the blackboard and admiring him. Solo still has enough time to let off steam and enjoy himself. Today, a football tournament is taking place in the village. He scores the winning goal. Success breeds success. Solo hopes to match his performance on the pitch with academic achievement. <laughs>